Right. Everyone become comfortable and relaxed. During this process, if you wish to shift your position, if you're sitting and you want to lie down, that's okay. If you're, you know, cold and you want a blanket or, you know, if you need to just get up and walk around even, sometimes we need to sort of move a little. That's all right. Honor your needs, but just maintain whether your eyes are open or closed, maintain the state of connection. Invite your body to relax and invite your body to breathe however you naturally and comfortably breathe. If at any point you need to wiggle or reset, that's okay. If you're feeling any pressure or tension in your body, acknowledge it and give it permission to relax and release. Give your feet permission to relax so all the energy that's in your feet can comfortably flow out through the bottom of your feet deep into earth where our beloved Gaia Pakamama receives all of your energy with all the joy that every mother, every sacred blessed mother enjoys receiving from her children, transmutes it to the highest frequency of love and sends it off forward for everyone in the planet to enjoy. And invite the top of your head to relax so that all of the wonderful divine energy from your soul, your guides, your guardians, your past lives, can come flowing in. If you feel any pain or pressure or discomfort, especially in your head or your eyes or the back of your head or your temples, acknowledge it and give it permission to release, relax, and dissipate. It is very natural when we open up our spirit senses for parts of your body to feel protective and wish to block it out. Just like when someone comes up behind and taps you on the shoulder, it's natural to jump a little bit. But we do not need to be protected from our spirit sense and our higher sense. So invite any pain or discomfort to release. Invite the energy from your soul to flow into you and through you and down through your feet, out to our sacred mother. Today we are connecting with our soul, our past lives. You may invite your soul to be the sacred keeper of your open crown chakra so that only the most loving divine energies and beings that are the, of your best well-being may flow into you and through you and around you. You are safe. Your soul is watching out for you and Gaia is cradling you in your arms, in her arms, keeping you safe and protected. Breathe, release, flow. Breathe, release, flow. I want you to imagine that you are in a beautiful meadow on the side of a mountain. It can be any mountain anywhere in the world, any time of year, night, day, sunrise, sunset. Allow yourself 
to be in this field or meadow on the mountain. Standing up, lying down, however you wish. And allow the mountain and meadow to grow and build, shift into place around you. Feel the mountain air on your skin. Breathe into the mountain smells. When you're smelling, is it crisp, cool air of a Swiss mountain? Or is it that rich, luscious, loamy air of a South American or a tropical mountain? Or is it the smell of peat and bog? Does it smell fresh and green or cool and dry? Feel with your skin, hear with your ears, smell with your nose, look around, allow the mountain to reveal itself to you. It may shift a little and settle. Allow the mountain, bit by bit, to reveal itself. Using your spirit sense, which is about allowing the information to flow into you and tell you a story. It doesn't matter which senses are receiving the information. Look or feel around. What sort of meadow are you in? Is it tall waving grass or wild flowers or a fresh mowed lawn or moss on rocks? What is growing there? How does it smell, feel? Explore the meadow. There may be animals there, small mammals running about, birds, insects, hiding from the birds. You look up in the sky. Is it day or night? Are the stars out twinkling or the sun shining? Or is it very cloudy? Look up towards the top of the mountain. How does it seem? What does the peak of the mountain look like? Can you even see it? Or is it covered with so much forest? Or is it wide open? What do you see when you look up the mountain? What do you feel on your skin? What do you hear? When your attention goes towards the top of the mountain, are there different 
sounds? Does the breeze carry different aromas? And then turn and look in the other direction towards the vista, the vista around you. What does the landscape look like? Do you see patches of land, rivers flowing to the ocean, villages, cities, farms, or just an expanse of nature? Enjoy the vista. I want you to notice at the end of the meadow, not too far from where you are, there is a forest, a beautiful forest filled with ancient trees. And on the ground, beneath the forest, there's thick moss and ancient plants growing. I want you to walk through the meadow with all the beautiful meadow smells and sights. Through the meadow towards the forest. And as you walk through this meadow with its particular look and feel towards the forest, you feel how you're entering some place. You're being called and moving towards some place that's very sacred, ancient, and welcoming. A healing ancient forest. And you walk towards the forest through this meadow. You are reaching the forest. As you get close to the edge of the forest, you see and feel how the ground is changing from meadow to dark moss, leaf mold, rich soil, ancient, almost primordial plants growing up. And this forest is filled with trees. Look at the trees. You can even touch and smell the trees. And you feel how as you enter the forest, the temperature even changes a little. The energy, the frequency becomes resonant, very healing. You can feel the wisdom of this forest that has been around for an eternity that is calling to you. And you feel as you enter this forest, a relaxation, a healing. This is a forest that has great wisdom, love, it is filled with life. There are small mammals living at the base and in little knot holes, the base of the trees, little knot holes within the trees, little nests up in the branches, birds. Walking through the forest. Let the energy of this ancient place wash over you. As you look at these trees, these beautiful ancient trees, and you can notice how each tree is actually an entire collective of life force within itself. 
Each tree has roots that go deep and spread wide, roots that are wrapped about rocks. And the tree itself is teeming with the life of insects and mammals and birds. And beneath the tree, within the root systems, insects, grubs, worms going through. And as the tree is pulling moisture through the roots up to feed the tree, to create tree sap, small underground beings, the worms, the grubs, the cicadas resting for 32 years, or what not before they will come forward fully, fully formed. They are living off the nutrients as they are entering the tree. The tree has enough to share that it's feeding all of the underground animals, bringing moisture and nutrients deep from earth to share with all that are near the roots. And these nutrients go up into the tree and the moisture. Feeding and hydrating all the moss growing around the tree and the ferns. And the moisture rises up through the tree, through the grains of the tree. rising up higher and higher to the branches of the tree, where even the leaves are receiving moisture from deep within the ground. Sometimes the birds will peck little holes in the tree so they can drink up the sap. And when they fly away, little animals, chipmunks, small mammals will come forward and then suckle from any sap geysering from that puncture. This tree, each tree within your forest is an entire biosphere of life. Walk through your forest. There may be a path, or you may just be meandering through the trees, touching them, feeling their skin, their bark as you go past, feeling the life force and the life flow all around you in this ancient, sacred healing place. Walk through the forest, hearing the birds and the insects, and as you walk through this beautiful ancient forest, you see ahead of you a small pool of water. It's a fresh spring pool, this water that has risen up from deep underground. You may see some animals around the pool drinking. There might be some fishes in the pool or some frogs or turtles lounging about. They're not afraid of you. There's no fear here, just love and beauty. You may approach this pool. Reach your hands down and cup them together under the water 
and raise it up and you can drink the water, splash it on your face and your neck. If you'd like, you can go swimming in this pool. The fish welcome you. And the frogs think you're interesting to watch. In whatever way is comfortable for you, become one with this pool. This pool whose water's resources are coming from deep, deep below ground, percolating up through all the minerals, all the mulch and the soil, the rocks, the crystals, until it rises up and bubbles forward to create this one beautiful pool for you to enjoy and truly hydrate your being. Hydrate your skin, your hair, your mind, your body, your soul. When you look above the mouth of the pool, and you see a little trail that leads to the opening of a cave. This cave is filled with powerful earth magic. It has even a glow to it from the frequency of this powerful energy. There are crystals. You might even see statues or carvings or cave paintings. Rise up from the pool and you find yourself Perfectly set as you wish to be, comfortable as you go forward on this trail to this ancient earth magic cave that is calling to you. You walk to the cave, and as you enter the mouth of this cave, Look around. What does it look like? Is it natural? Does it look like people or beings have created any part of it? As you enter the cave, there's a small table with an item on it. It is the cave's gift to you. This item will help you with your journey through the cave. Look at and receive this gift with gratitude and joy. Examine your gift. Connect with the gift. This gift has a meaning for you and a purpose. Place the gift where it belongs within your being. And 
and look around at the cave entrance again. And step forward into the cave. Walking forward deeper and deeper and deeper into the heart of your beautiful mountain through this wonderful earth magical cave. Each step forward, bringing you deeper into your mountain. As you walk forward, you see the cave begins to widen. And widen some more till you come forward to an enormous cavern. The cavern that is the heart of your mountain. Observe your cavern. Feel the air in this place. Smell it. Observe what your cavern looks like. And you see beside you another entryway to the cavern. And this one is some well-lit stairs. It may be lit by torches or electrical light or phosphorescent plants or glowing crystals. You go forward to the stairs rising up through the cavern to see what is illuminating it. And as you approach these stairs, you feel it calling to you. You go into the doorway and walk up the stairs. One stair, another step, up through this glowing stairway, up another stair, another step, up. And as you walk up through this glowing stairway, you may feel your heart opening. You may feel like there is a higher frequency enveloping you. Up another stair. Glowing love light. Almost vibrating frequency. As though your entire chakra system is being fused with a profound love. Allow this high frequency love that's emanating and calling to you as you're going up another step and up. Allow it to enter your being. Invite even your cells and molecules, your emotions, your frequencies, your thoughts to absorb this high frequency love that with each step up, envelops you with greater appreciation, value, a respectful love, up, up, up. 
until you walk up your final, you see three steps ahead, walk up. Two steps ahead, walk up. The final step, you find yourself here deep in your mountainous cave in a long hallway. You look ahead at this hallway, has many doors to your left, many doors to your right, and far, far, far in the distance, a door at the end of the hall. Each of these doors can take you to one of your past lives. When you look at the doors, each one in its own way lets you know what sort of life lay behind it. You may start walking down this hallway, looking at doors, you might reach out your hand and feel them. Feel the emotions they represent. Feel the grain of the wood or the metal or the stone, whatever material the doors are made of. You can see a long hallway stretching far, far down. But of all these doorways, there is one that's calling to you. It has a brighter frequency, maybe a brighter energy or light, a resonance that is calling to you. Walk to this door. Walk to this door. Stop before it. Allow your, incense, your senses to connect with this door. What does it look like? You can put your hand upon it, or if you'd like, rest your cheek against it. What does it feel like? Is the door ancient or modern? Is it from man-made? People made material or nature. What does it smell like? Does it have a doorknob or a handle? Or is it a curtain you will push aside? No matter how your door opens, you may open it now and step through from the hallway, past the door, into one of your lives. Step into one of your lives and allow yourself a moment to connect with this life. You are in a time and a place that you have been in before. This is your life from some time before. Give yourself a moment to acclimate. Are you in your body from before? Or next to it, floating above it? What does this past life feel like, look like? You can look at your hands and your feet. Look at your clothing. How do you smell? Do you smell perfumed, natural? Have you ever even taken a bath? What emotions 
are connected with this life at this moment. Are you male or female? Rich, poor, or is that not even an issue in this life? Educated, are you a slave? Are you impoverished? Give yourself a moment to connect with this life and feel what is your place, your time, your sense with this being, this past existence of you in the moment that you're connecting now. Look around you. Where are you at this moment? Go forward with your life for whatever experience that life is connecting with. Experience it together. You have arrived in this moment for a reason. You may talk with your past life ask questions, or just go along for the ride. And now it's time to ask that light to take you to the next relevant moment. Leave this moment with that light. Go to the next relevant one. And remember, if that life is feeling joy, you may share that joy. But if that life is feeling trauma, you may be compassionate with the life but you do not need to feel the trauma yourself. Go forward to the next relevant moment and look around. Feel the moment. Look at your life. Has that life changed? How much further in the life is this? Who is your life connected with? Does your life have friends, family, peers, animals? What is relevant for this life at this moment? What is this life learning, doing? What is important to this life?
And now it is time for your light to show you their final moment, their death time. Where is your life in his or her final moment? And how are they feeling? What, how did they pass from that life? Remember, you may observe with compassion. There's no need to absorb distress unless that feels natural for you. As you watch or experience life leaving this body. Ask the life, what was your value of this life? What lesson did you have to learn? What, what do you wish to share of your experience with me? And then watch as the life's aspect of soul rises up. And you can see your soul, the angels, the guardians, all who love this life, who had passed already, are there to greet and welcome and heal and cleanse this life. There is a beautiful, loving, welcoming, healing, and cleansing. A welcome reconnection. Now, I would like you to join this soul to look at their life path. You may see it as an actual map, or it may just be the relevant moments or the concepts showing themselves. Join with this life as they have a review of their life, whether or not they stuck with their intended life path, if they completed their life lesson. Look at their life together. And let that life express how they feel about their accomplishments. Now it is time for you to share gratitude with each other as you rise up, go back through the doorway, into the hallway, where that door gently closes behind you. You can turn and look at the door again, feel it, smell it, listen. And see how the details, what they share with you about the life you have just experienced. Look down the hallway and you see there's another door calling to you, lighting up to catch your attention, sending out frequencies. Go to this door and observe it. What does it look like? You can put your hand on it. 
What material is it made of? How does it feel? Is it even a solid door? Does it have electricity flowing through it or water? How do you feel looking at this door? Open the door. Step through into another of your past lives. Step from the hallway, through the door, into your life. And then give yourself a moment to recalibrate, to connect with this life that you are connected with because you have lived this life. You have been this person. Allow yourself to connect with the being, whether you are in the body, next to the body, floating above the body, or if your experience is even different. However you are receiving the information, allow it to flow in and fill itself out for you. Do you feel like you are wealthy, a pauper, natural, male, female, young, old? What is your emotional state? Allow yourself to resonate with this life that you have lived. Look around. Listen. Feel. What sort of clothing are you wearing? How long or short is your hair? Are you even wearing any shoes? If so, what are they like? Where are you? Indoors? Outdoors? Connect with this life. And allow this life that you have lived to share this moment with you wherever and whenever you are and go forward with your life. How does your life, your past life, feel about the life they are living? What is it they want? What do they desire? Ask this life to take you forward with them to the next relevant moment. And share with you why is this an important time they're bringing you to. Whom are they connected with? What are they doing?
And you can go forward again if you like to another moment that is of importance to this life. How old are they now? Why is this moment relevant? Now we go forward to the final moment, the last breath, the death time for this life. Remembering you are eternal. It's just the final moment of this physical life. Look around. How did this life die? Are they alone or with others? And as this life breathes their final breath and their soul rises up from the body for the reconnection, what is their final thought? What do they share with you? The soul reconnects with their specific guides and guardians, some of whom you share, and with those who love them who had passed, to receive a great healing and a love, a reconnection. Cleansing and release. And then join this life as they review their life path. The karmic challenges, the soul contracts, the life path they had planned for themselves, and the one they actually lived. Ask them how they feel about the life they lived and the lessons they learned. Would they like any help from you? Or do they have any advice for you? Now it's time for you to rise up from this life, return to the door, pass through the door, back to the hallway where the door closes behind you. Turn and look at the door. Receive what the door has to share with you. And as you look, you see another door in the hallway calling to you. 
lighting up to catch your attention. Find your way to this door. Look at the door. Receive what the door wishes to share with you. As you know, there is a story the door is telling you. And the door just swings open of its own volition. You go forward, stepping into a life that you have lived already. One of your past lives. Feel yourself with this past life. What are you wearing, if anything? Are you big or small, male or female? Rich or poor? Strong or fragile? Look around you, take in with all your senses. The smell, the sights, the sounds, the emotions of the environment, the temperature. Where are you? And why has your life chosen to introduce themselves in this time and place? Connect with your life and explore the moment. Ask your life any questions you have. And invite your life to take you to the next relevant moment. and show you or explain to you why this next moment is important. How does your life feel about this existence? And whomever your life is connected with, what is their feeling towards them? What hopes and dreams and fears does this life have? And now go forward to this life's final moment.
the death moment. How did this life die? Are they alone or with others? How do they feel? As this moment rises up with the final death breath and the soul of this life leaves the body, What is the final thought this life has? Accompany the soul, the aspect of soul, as it rises up for the great reconnection with your soul, guardians, guides, angels, those who loved the life who have already passed for the reunion, cleansing and clearing and loving, the return to self. The releasing of trauma. and the refiltration of love. Ask this life, this aspect of soul, to review the life they lived and the life they planned with you, to show you what was intended and what actually happened and where there is benefit and where there is lessons that will have to be carried forward. With gratitude, share leave taking from this life and then rise up out of the life back through the door to the hallway. Where the door closes gently behind you and you can again observe this door. And then you see the door at the end of your hallway, the far end, is lighting up and calling to you. Go to this door. This is the door of your current life. It may have a shape and dimension to present to you, or it may be amorphous, shadowy or cloudy. Look at the door to this life. You can feel it, smell it, listen to it kind of vibrations or emotions or frequencies it shares. The door opens before you. Step through the door back into your body. 
your body that is you of this life here in this place now at this time as you find all of your being returning to this flesh shell that is your body for this life allow yourself to fully return to yourself reconnect with yourself synchronize with your body of this life your mind of this life your aspect of soul of this life all that is you within you here in this place now at this time You might want to start wiggling your fingers and toes a little. You may find the reintegration into your solid body it may take even a little more work than it did when you're visiting your past lives. Reharmonize with yourself and welcome back. little stretching and when you are ready start writing in your notebook about the experience you've just returned from welcome back everyone <laughs>